But I was telling the truth, that this was true. We should note right now that we have invited uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz to be on, on MSNBC today as well, because you're making a lot of allegations that, frankly, I can't fact check in, in the time we have right now. But I, I did want to well, read, let me just read, a, in fairness, a statement from her. Debbie Wasserman Schultz said, even though Senator Sanders has endorsed my opponent, I remain, as I have been from the beginning, neutral in the presidential Democratic primary. I look forward to working together with him for Democratic victories in the fall. Do, do you think she has been neutral? in this race, in the bigger national race? Well, I could ask you if you think she has. You, you know, we all watch the news, and we see how divided the party has become, and we can all assess, make our own determinations as to whether she's been, been playing a unifying role or a divisive role. And certainly a, a, a large part of the country and of the folks here in South Florida think that she's been playing a very divisive role. And the charge has been that she, she rigs the markets, she rigs the political outcomes. I can tell you what I'm fighting here in South Florida, some of her allies have been trying to rig union endorsements in her favor. So if that's any indication of the kind of politics that she plays, uh, I'll tell you, I can understand why a lot of folks are contributing to my campaign. And it's not just around the country. It's also here in Florida, where in the first quarter we received more individual donations than Debbie Wasserman Schultz did. She's been a member of Congress for 12 years. I had been a candidate for less than 90 days, and we got more contributions in Florida than she did. So her popularity is a bit of a myth. Uh, she's been uh, pushing for a big corporate interest for a while, and voters are really not in the mood for more of the same. Uh, there's a big anti-incumbent uh, uh, wave in this country. We saw it start two years ago when Eric Cantor, the second-ranking Republican in the House of Representatives, lost to a college professor who he outraised by 40 to 1. And then you take a look at this president cycle. It's not just the rise of Bernie Sanders, but you also have Donald Trump. And, uh, you, and know, you are a college professor trying to do exactly the same. Well, th that is true. Uh, that you is know, true. I, I, I have to leave it there. Tim Canova, thank you so much for being with us today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Nice to be with you. Coming up, Donald Trump flipped.